Mahalo! Hi guys, it's Crystal, and today for you I have the Cruisin' Into Polish Con Trio. These are the Week 5 Road to Polish Con polishes from Cupcake Polish, Different Dimension, and Glisten and Glow. And each of these is based off one of the famous cruise ships of Navy Pier in celebration of their 100 years. We're going to start off with Sarah of Cupcake Polish's contribution, Mystic Blue. This is a gorgeous azure blue linear holographic with this really subtle, gorgeous green to blue shimmer that just pops and is so, so pretty. This is so full of hollow goodness. They actually all are. When I got them, I was like, oh, because, yeah, you just look at these and you're just, oh, I can't even get the words out. You're so hit by that rainbow and the shimmer and how gorgeous they each are. They all definitely, definitely knock this out of the park. As you can see here, this applies really smooth and really well in one coat. Actually, if my nail tips weren't as opaque as they are, I could have gotten away with one coat of this easily. Because as you see here, when it dried, it was a little bit darker and I could just barely, barely see that nail tip. So I would definitely call this a one coater. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll say two coater because it was two for me. But for anyone whose nail tips are normal, they're that normal like white, somewhat clear, this is definitely a one coater. And look at the shimmer. That shimmer, ah, to die for. This is so gorgeous. I was so excited when I got these because these are my top three favorite colors too, purple, pink, and blue. And I just saw so many possibilities with them right away, which I've actually pulled off a lot of. I have a ton of nail art looks on my blog with these that you can check out in the link below. Odyssey 2 is a magenta pink linear holographic with this gorgeous coppery shimmer. And it has kind of a tiny hint of like a purple shimmer in there with the copper, but it's like this gorgeous sunset shimmer to it that is just amazing. And if you're wondering if it's this bright in person, the answer is yes, it is. I am in love with it. When I saw it in the bottle, I had some doubts. I was like, uh, that's gonna go on and be more pastel-y because that's been my experience with so many pinks that look so gorgeous and bright and then they're not as bright out of the bottle. But this one, no, it doesn't lose any of that brightness. You can see it. This one could also have been a one coater. If you see here, it goes on, covers that nail tip, but because of my really opaque nail tips, it was a two coater for me. But other people are probably gonna be able to get away with just one and have all the gorgeousness without all the hassle. <laughs> This is so pretty and you can definitely really see that shimmer coming out right there. It is just popping. And as I said, see, it's super, super bright. I love how bright these are. They are all just so pretty. And I'm so excited to show you guys nail art with them this week. I'm actually going to do one tutorial a day with these colors for the rest of the week, which some people might not like. Last but not least, we have Jill's contribution, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous indigo purple. This is Spirit of Chicago. It's an indigo purple with a blue to violet shimmer. And this has tiny little silver holographic micro flakies in it that I thought were going to give it a bit of texture, but they actually don't. This goes on completely smooth, just like any other linear holographic. And it has like an edited, like, added in little bit of, of pop and sparkle. I think I almost said edited in little bit of pop and sparkle. Oh, not fire and right guys, but look at how beautiful this is. This went on deceptively sheer in this first coat. I thought it was gonna take three to build up, but it actually ended up only taking two because it does dry darker. And you can see those little silver holographic micro flakies and that just shimmering pop they have to them throughout. This is so stunning. I cannot even get over this. This is definitely gonna end up being one of my new favorite purples. I have a lot of favorite purples, but that doesn't make this any less of a favorite purple, okay. These are only going to be available for a week. So if you want them, snag them. I'm not even joking. They will go on sale tomorrow 
at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Polish Convention website, and they will only be available through Saturday, August 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Polish Convention website. Any overport will be available at the convention, but after that, it's not guaranteed. You're not guaranteed a chance to get these. So I would definitely buy them this week if you're in love with them like I am, because I'm definitely getting a backup bottle of each of these. <laughs> And if you want to see more nail art looks, I have more information about the theme for these, how they chose names and everything on my blog, which is linked in the description box. The maker shops are in the description box, and the links to purchase these are all in the description box. As usual, though, if you like this, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and awesome tutorials, and I will see you guys next time.